Welcome to the world's tallest glass bridge here in China. I am bungee jumping off of this bridge, the world's highest commercial bungee jump point here in China. Am I mad? Yes, my first ever bungee jump. And I decided to go with the world's highest. how it's gonna go. I'm very nervous, I'm excited. It was on and off because of the rain, but um, let's go and see. <laughs> so it's a very rainy day. Mm. <laughs> Don't think bungee jump is gonna happen based on the weather, but we can still go and visit the glass bridge. 50 meters? Yeah. Wow, look at this. I'm gonna be jumping from there. In the rain. <laughs> now I'm regretting my life choices. So I need to read all of this. I don't have any asthma or epilepsy, diabetes, hernia. No. No. Hernia disease, no. But my weight, I'm not sure. No, no. Yeah, I need to weigh. 89.9. Okay. Thank you. I guess I'm going to the left one. Yes. Once I've bungee jumped, you bungee jump? No, 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 no. No? <laughs> <laughs> oh. First time jumping, James? Yeah, first time bungee jumping. Excellent. First go. time bungee jumping, this is the highest one? Yes, go for the biggest. The world's highest. The world's highest commercial. Wow. James, come on over. Yeah, yeah, cool. We have the longest, longest bungee cord in the world. So you wow. are, you're having the longest free fall you could ever have in bungee so far. Ah. Yeah, yeah, so the longest free fall in the world. In the I world. Yes. I love it. I'm sure you're going to have a very good time, man. <laughs> now I get a little wristband yeah. for my locker. Put, yeah, yes. yeah, put your belt uh -huh. Okay. The only thing going to be keeping me alive is this harness. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm starting to get nervous, yeah. Okay, it's so starting to get real. It's a mixed feeling. Yep. Nervousness and uh, excitement. Yes. So right after your jump, after you after the free fall, uh -huh. you're feeling completely changes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna be like, wow. How would you describe it? That's it? very difficult to describe it in words. I have to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm ready. <laughs> so to walk on this bridge, you've got to use shoe covers. That's why I've got these bad boys on. Oof. Apparently it's normal to feel nervous. Weirdly, because it's like quite a flat and like there's loads of people here, it doesn't feel as scary as when you're like going to go paragliding and you're just like on the edge of a, of a hill and you're like, oh, like if you just run, you're going to fall off that hill. Wow. Just look at this bridge. Amazing. Let's walk to my bungee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is amazing. And I've chosen to jump off of this thing. I must be mad. Look at the rock formations over the edges, which are holding the bridge together and all these pillars. I'm gonna try and not swear on this bungee jump. Let's see how that goes. Everything inside me wants to swear like hell, but I'm not. I'm gonna try and keep it PG. Keep on going. I mean, because the water is on the glass, it's a bit hard to see. But, um, you can see how sharp the rock cliff is. That's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be down there. Yes! Let's go! Wow! Okay, I have a real urge to need the toilet right now. <laughs> Ooh. Perfect. Okay. Doing the last final checks, making sure everything's safe. I think so. 
I think so. Okay. <laughs> First time bungee. First time bungee. How do you feel now? I'm nervous. I'm also excited. <laughs> and I also just want it to be over with. I want it just done now. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh my god. Please stand up. Okay. More to the edge? More. Yep. Wow. More out. Okay. And then I. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think so. Okay. So just okay. jump. Yep. Okay, yep. Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I've never seen this vantage point of a mountain before. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I actually feel more scared now. I'm just dangling in this valley. I don't think they explain what happens next. <laughs> Oh, this thing is coming down. There's like a rope. I can just lay back. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah. If I just sit down, that's much better for my blood flow because my head is pounding. Wow. Oh my Lord, look at this view. Oh, look, there's the rest of the rope. <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> Hi! Look at everybody watching me. <laughs> wow! Okay. Yeah, that was amazing. Can you stand up? Oh. Stand up. Yes. Yes. oh man. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Did I just do that? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did. There's a whole crowd waiting to see. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hello. Hi. Oh wow. Very cool. <laughs> that was just my head is still throbbing I could have sat up earlier and it would have just been like I didn't realise that the harness is the same type of harness if you're paragliding so I was just like upside down for ages <laughs> but it was nice and if you're thinking about doing it I will always say is just try it as of when I was on the edge of the step with my feet. I thought I'd be so worried, but actually, I just knew that like, if I just jumped, it would be okay. <laughs> so, it's just having the courage to do the jump. A leap of faith, some might call it. I think I'm quoting from a movie there. It costs, I think, about 200 pounds, which when I've done skydiving in Mexico, it was about $200. And when I did paragliding, I think that was a bit less actually. Maybe it was like $140. How was the free fall? Oh, amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Just kept on going and going? Just kept going and going. And like, I think, because I didn't really think about it, but at first, obviously, you're kind of moving in this motion. So yeah. you're like forward facing and then you turn. Then you roll over and it yeah. turns into a big swing. Yeah. And then I think once I hit the bottom and I was kind of stable, I didn't realize like sit up. So I was just like upside down for ages. Just oh, like, yeah. Oh. And oh, I was like okay. quite liking the but they're like, <laughs> My head it, getting all... The old. head rash. Yeah. And then, you, and then you said, I went, oh, hang on, this is quite relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it is quite nice hanging in the valley, looking around. It's amazing. Like, yeah. the, the perspective you get from just, like, looking like this, and you're yeah. seeing trees and just nature everywhere is amazing. Well done, mate. Yeah, thank you. Good effort. I always think when you bungee jump, it's a bit like, you jump and you're, like, falling and falling and falling, and then when you reach the, the length of the bungee, the elongation, it has that little moment, you're like, oh, hang on, I'm not falling to my death. Yeah. 
And I think that's a, and that's the moment that people go, oh yeah, it works. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Where would you recommend then? Because I'm currently traveling. In Thailand, there's options. Uh -huh. Jungle Bungee, just outside of Bangkok, another one in Pattaya. Then uh -huh. you can get to Australia, there is Jumps in Cairns. Okay. And they're quite small, 45 meter, both the Thailand and uh -huh. Australia around about 45 meters. Okay. And both have water touches. Oh, wow. uh, then you've got New Zealand again around that 45 meter with a water touch. Yes. So in comparison height wise, mm. you'll get to the edge and go, why do I need a bungee? <laughs> I can just jump off this. <laughs> I'm on, this is, I've got this. But you get to go into the water. So it's a different uh -huh. perspective because you're actually coming in at speed yep. and you're expecting to stop, but you don't. And you actually slow right down and you can oh, wow. touch the water or go into the water and come back up. Amazing. Yeah, you know, there's no limit to how high you can go with the bungee, mm -hmm. but it is nice to get that perspective of going all the way down and touching yeah. the ground. Yeah, yeah. We used to play lots of games, you know, where you do literally, from whatever height, dial it is, you could always just touch the ground underneath you. Uh huh. So wow. you could be doing that from 60 meters, jump down and just touch the ground and go back up. Okay. So yeah. So that's gonna be my next challenge that's then, isn't next it? One. I'm gonna have to do a bungee, which is what's touching. Yep. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. <laughs> but you've gone all the way into the pinnacle. You've reached the top. This is true, yeah, and yeah. And now you're coming down. <laughs> so it's good, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, another bucket list item ticked off my list here in China. Makes me so happy. Quite emotional actually as well. I think maybe it's the adrenaline lose it, leaving my body. I feel really proud of myself as well. Just because I think I thought I was going to do it. And then I had every belief that I was going to back out at the last minute. And so when they said the weather was raining and it's probably unlikely you can do it, and I was like, oh, well, if it's raining, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm happy to just not do bungee jump. And I know that was coming from like fear. And then when they said, oh no, you can do it. I was like, oh, do I now want to do it? <laughs> but I did. And um, yeah, I'm so proud of myself for just doing it. And it was amazing. And we're gonna walk over here. As you can just see behind the clouds, there's a walkway and then, uh, we're gonna be not getting the elevator down because there is the option of the elevator, but we're gonna actually be getting a cable car, which you can see in the distance over here, these black lines, and you'll see people shooting across uh, up and down. And then once we get down, we'll then walk ourselves down to where these boats are. And then we're gonna be getting one of these boats. We'll be taking us through the gorge over to the other side where we'll be doing a walk. I mean, and look at that waterfall, it's beautiful. We're gonna get a closer look at that shortly. But we're ready to go, yeah. Yeah, we're is, yeah, yeah. It's even more glass viewing platforms here. Oh, feels like it's bending though, that's not nice. That's not nice. That is where I bungee jumped from. There. All the way down there. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> Hot air balloon. But wait a minute, no, this is going outside, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like this is not what it seems. It makes it look like we're just staying still. It's got like air conditioning units here. So that makes me feel like it really feels really, really cold, like I'm outside, which can't be right. Cause if we were going outside in these, do I get in one of these? Do I get in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, put on the goggles. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, there was a bit of a technical issue there with the headset. The inner lens on the side of the VR headset was all steamed up, condensated, so I took it off to clean it. But then when I put it back on, I must have pressed the, a button or something because it reset and it just showed the battery percentage. But then the audio was still playing in the background of the room. It is something like Squid Game. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like it. I felt like something was gonna happen afterwards that I wasn't consenting to. So there was a part of me, I mean, it was nice actually. You got to like go above the entire park area. It was talking about the history. It was talking about uh, the ecology. So it's a bit of a shame I missed it because I, I do enjoy that. But then there was a part of me that because I was on my own in that room, I just did not feel 
safe. I, did, I don't know what <laughs> the bungee jumps okay, but like in that room, I just felt like I was gonna end up like taking my goggles off and I'd be like at the bottom of the mountain or something, or like the whole room would have changed. Or <laughs> we can't actually go down the zip line, so we're going down the elevator instead. Nice and peaceful, just the two of us. Yeah. In the in the foggy elevator. <laughs> Oh, there's the bridge. So we're heading now to the next mode of transport. I think a boat we're getting. Basically just ferries up and down through this little canal of water. Thank you. This looks fun. <laughs> oh wow. We're doing an adult slide. Amazing. We've got this kind of cargo pants ensemble and then some gloves as well before we head onto the slide this looks fun how tall is it okay we go we go ah, yes okay ah so you don't just you don't slide down you have to it looks like you have to kind of move yourself down okay you follow me Okay. Right, I follow you. Two meters apart. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, actually, it's quite fast. It's much faster than I was expecting. Oh, actually, it's quite scary because I can't stop myself. Oh, I've got caught. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, bye. Whoa, okay. How do I slow down? Ah! <laughs> I suppose you just use your feet. You just rub your feet against the... Okay, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking it would be this that would quick. <laughs> Everyone else was going very slow. So some said I'm right. You're very fast. Yeah. And look, that's where we were up there. Now we've come down. So misty here as well. Gosh. So now we're going on a different type of transport. We're going on a boat next. There's the bridge up there. You can barely even see it. Wow. It's like something out of Jurassic Park. Wow. Wow. We're heading on these boats. Woo. Okay. Can you see that waterfall down there just behind this boat? and the cliff face all around us. The bridge is up there. Well, wow, let's step onto this boat and see what it's all about. This is super exciting. Uh -huh. okay. Let's see what this is all about. Wow, that is amazing. Just look at it. It's so beautiful, so serene with the blue water. So you get the boat here and then you've got two options. You can have a walk further down that way, which is about a 40 minute walk, but we don't really have the time for that because we're going to a different mountain as well today. So we're heading back now this way where we're gonna get the elevator back up to the glass bridge and walk back over it so we can then go to the next mountain. Uh, what I also love is how foggy it is and how misty it is as well. It's so mysterious and airy. Wow. It's 
absolutely amazing. I'm just in awe of the beauty of it. I mean, I say wow a lot, so it's probably really downgraded now in terms of meaning in my videos. Like, just look at it. This place is amazing. I thought it was just a glass bridge. There's so much more. Let's see, more beautiful places to come. I know, tell me monkey. It's more beautiful, you uh, say. Uh, We're heading on the world's longest cable car, apparently. Uh, you can see 